The first mass extinction from approximately 550 million years ago was caused by lack of oxygen. The reduced global availability of oxygen led to the first mass extinction of animals, which consumed 80% of existing animals then on Earth, species result from new research. This event took place at the end of the Ediacaran period, about 550 million years ago. New study by geobiologists from Virginia The Tech College of Science suggests that the first mass extinction of species that occurred about 550 million years ago. Scott Evans, who led the research, he stated that this extinction had led to the destruction of 80 per center of living species on Earth during the Ediacaran period. This included the loss of many different genera animals, however, those which particularly relied on considerable quantities of oxygen, that they were the most affected. This suggests that the extinction was controlled by environment, like all other mass extinctions in history Evans said. Environmental changes like global warming and a decrease in oxygen availability may lead to mass extinction of animals and profound disruption and reorganization of ecosystems, said Shuhei Xiao of Faculty of Earth Sciences Virginia Tech College of Science. Proven many times in research on Earth's history, including work on the first one extinction documented in the fossil record. This study therefore informs us about the long-term impact of current environmental changes on the biosphere, he added. Which exactly caused half a billion oxygen levels to drop years ago. This is still a topic for discussion. A short answer to the question of how to do it what happened is that we don't really know, Evans said. They could have been powerful volcanic eruptions tectonic plate movements, asteroid impacts, or combinations of these phenomena. But we see that the animals that died out seemed respond to reduced global oxygen availability added researcher. Evans and Xiao's study is more timely than it could be spent. In another study, researchers at Virginia Tech found that the decline oxygen availability affects aquatic ecosystems. Reason? Water warming caused climate change and excessive outflow of pollution from land use. Heating waters reduce the ability of fresh water to retain oxygen, they. Whereas nutrient decomposition by fresh water microbes absorbs oxygen. Our study it shows that, as with all other mass extinctions in Earth's past, this newly discovered, first mass extinction of animals, was caused by major climate change. This is another in a long list of warnings showing the dangers of our current climate crisis, Evans said. The Ediacaran lasted about 94 million years, from about 635 to 541 million years ago. It was preceded by Cryogen and followed by Cambrian. There are five mass extinctions of species, Ordovician extinction which occurred ca 438 million years ago, Devonian extinction ca 374 ma, Permian extinction ca 250 ma, Triassic extinction ca 201 ma, and the Cretaceous extinction event, which occurred about 66 million years ago. Mass extinctions are recognized as significant steps in the evolutionary trajectory of life on this planet was written by Evans and the team in publications. Whatever the cause of the mass extinction, the result was numerous major changes in environmental conditions. In particular we find support for reduced global availability of oxygen as a mechanism responsible for this extinction. This suggests that abiotic control had significant impact on diversity patterns over hundreds of millions of years of history animals of the earth indicated by the authors of the publication. Fossils from this period tell us what they looked like creatures that died in this extinction. According to Evans, they looked weird. 
These organisms appear so early in the evolutionary history of animals that in, in many cases they look like they are an experiment with different ways building large, sometimes mobile, multicellular bodies Evans said. There are many ways to recreate their appearance, but the most important thing is, that the fossils found before this extinction often do not fit the ways, the what animals do we classify into today? Basically, this extinction could have helped pave the way for the evolution of animals as we know them, he noted.